we're now going to focus on the peace process. Many suggest that Israel's presence in the West Bank, what some people call the occupation, is the cause of Palestinian hostility towards Israel. And the reason, there is no peace. If Israel's presence is the cause of the conflict, then it follows that there was no conflict before 1967. Let's look at the facts. The PLO, the Palestinian Liberation Organization, was created in 1964, when the entire West Bank and Gaza was in Arab hands. The PLO was created to remove by force the entire state of Israel from the map of the Middle East, a goal clearly stated in their charter. Let's take a look at the history. In 1937, the Peel Commission recommended a division of the land, a Jewish state and an Arab state. The Arab portion would include 96% of the territory that the League of Nations had originally designated for the Jewish homeland. However, instead of accepting the Jews as peace partners, the Palestinian leader, Haj Amin al-Husseini, said no, and found a partner whose vision was closer to his own. In 1947, the United Nations recommended the Partition Plan, which again offered the Arabs far more than just the West Bank. The Jews said yes. The Arab leaders again said no, and launched a war of extermination. Israel won that war, established the state, but did not know a day of peace, despite the fact that its Arab neighbors held the entire West Bank. They attacked Israel relentlessly, using the West Bank as a launching pad, until Israel took it over in a war of self-defense in 1967. After the war, the Arab League rejected all attempts at peace. They continued to choose force over negotiation. And at a summit in the city of Khartoum, we again heard, no, no, no. Let's fast forward to 1993. Israel and the Palestinians signed the Oslo Accords. Israel said yes and gave territorial control to a Palestinian government it helped establish. During the next five years, Israel saw a significant increase in terrorist attacks. In 1996, Yasser Arafat, the Palestinian leader, declares, we plan to eliminate the state of Israel and establish a purely Palestinian state. In 2000, Israel's Prime Minister Barak offers the Palestinians 93% of the West Bank. Again, the answer is no, together with increased terror. In 2005, Israel withdraws from the Gaza Strip, uprooting 8,500 Israeli citizens, hoping to advance peace. In 2008, another Israeli attempt at yes. Prime Minister Olmert accepts nearly all Palestinian demands, including handing over almost 100% of the West Bank with minor land swaps. The Palestinians, again, no. The conflict was not caused by Israeli presence in the West Bank. The real cause of the conflict, until today, is the long-held Arab history of saying no, because no is consistent with Palestinian policy, education, and media. Political and religious leaders continuously promote Israel's destruction. Israel has said yes for decades, and has proven that by signing peace with Jordan and Egypt. Israel, for its part, will continue saying yes to a real and enduring peace. But for the peace process to succeed, the Palestinians will have to give up their uncompromising choice of force over negotiation and of choosing no over yes. It's about time.